Hello everyone, my name is Riley Dickens and I'm a consultant with Encryption Consulting. Today, I have a short video on understanding digital certificates. To fully understand everything about a digital certificate, you must first ask yourself, what is a certificate? A digital certificate is an identifier for an individual or website that contains a public key as well as general information about the owner of that certificate. This certificate is digitally signed by a trusted certificate authority. This signature verifies that the certificate holder can be trusted with what they're providing. Something else to know about certificates is that the standard public key certificate format is an X.509 certificate. This certificate comes in three different versions, versions one, two, and three. These versions differ slightly in the details they provide. For the rest of this video, I will be showing you Google's certificate as an example. A website certificate can be found by clicking the lock icon at the top left of the search bar. The image shown here is the general information tab. This is open by default when opening a certificate of a website. This tab can also be reached by clicking this icon at the top of the screen. The portion of the certificate circled here contains basic certificate information. This includes the purpose of the issuance of the certificate, as well as the public IP address of the website. The bottom of the general tab includes basic issuance information, such as who issued the certificate, who the certificate is issued to, and the validity period of the certificate. The issue to line shows that this certificate is given to all Google domains. The issue by line shows the name of the issuing CA. The validity period of a certificate shows how long the certificate is valid for. In our example, this certificate is valid from January 5th, 2021 until March 30th, 2021. The validity period of a certificate is extremely important as the expiration of this certificate would cause outages with the website. The next pane we'll be looking at is the details pane. This pane can be reached by clicking the details icon at the top of the certificate. This tab contains all the information that a certificate holds. Within the details tab, the version is displayed. This version refers what type of X.509 certificate this certificate is. As we can see, this is a version three certificate. Next is the serial number. This serial number is unique to this certificate and identifies it from other certificate serial numbers. The details pane also shows the signature algorithm and signature hash algorithm. These algorithms display what algorithms are used to sign and hash that signature by the issuing CA. Under the issuer field is the name of the issuing CA. The validity period is displayed here as well. Again, we see the subject or owner of the certificate. The public key is also displayed here. Once the public key is selected, you can see the exact public key listed there. The value of the public key is how the key was created. In our example, elliptic curve cryptography is used and the key is 256 bits long. One final important field in the details pane is the thumbprint. The thumbprint created with hashing is an abbreviated form of the certificate. This makes it much easier to store a number of certificates together. There are many other fields within the details pane, but these are the most important ones. Finally, we have the certification path or chain of trust. This panel can be reached by selecting the certification path tab. The certification path displays the status of all the certificates from this certificate up to the root CA certificate and tells you whether they are okay or not. This creates that chain of trust discussed in a previous video. At the top of the certification path is the root CA certificate. Between the root CA and our certificate is all the intermediary CAs in between. As you can see for our example, we only have one intermediary CA, our issuing CA. Finally, at the very bottom of the certification path is our certificate. By selecting one of the CAs in the certificate path, you can view their certificates as well. 
The final part of the certification path is the certificate step. This displays whether the certificate is okay or not. This can help you find issues within your certification path. That's all I have for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. Visit our website, learn.encryptionconsulting.com for more cybersecurity terminology and I hope you come back again.